James Webb Telescope is finally proving Stephen Hawking's multiverse theory. Our universe is estimated to be around 14 billion years old. It began with the Big Bang, a massive explosion that created everything we see today. And after the Big Bang, the universe continued to expand and cool. Until 1960s, we only lived with the idea of this very universe we have. And then Stephen Hawking proposed a possibility of a multiverse, that our universe is just one of many, separated by an infinite expanse. For years, scientists have been searching for evidence of other universes. And finally, the James Webb Telescope may have found it. But what has James Webb found? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about how James Webb is finally proving Stephen Hawking's multiverse theory. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. On December 25, 2021, NASA launched its all-new James Webb Space Telescope, marking the successor to the famous Hubble Telescope as the agency's new flagship mission in astrophysics. Scientists believe that the telescope will provide higher resolution and sensitivity over its predecessor called the Hubble Telescope, allowing scientists to observe some of the most distant events and objects in the universe, including the formation of the first galaxies. The telescope will allow scientists to gaze back 200 million years to observe how our universe appeared 200 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope will catch images of some of the first galaxies to form. It will also be able to see within dust clouds to discover where new stars and planets are forming, as well as study the atmospheres of planets circling other stars. It will also be able to monitor objects in our solar system all the way from Mars. The telescope will mainly look at the universe in the infrared, competing with its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope which has examined the universe at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. In addition, Webb has a much bigger light collecting area, letting it look at greater distances, and therefore further back into time than Hubble. Recently, NASA published the first image captured by the telescope. It is not what we expected, but it is what the scientists thought it is going to be. With the first image, the hopes of the researchers and scientists went high and they are waiting to unravel the unsolved mysteries of the universe, seeing the first stars and galaxies and the origin of this universe. Thinking about the origin of this universe, Professor Stephen Hawking was also working on one such theory before he died. The paper is titled A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, and Hawking worked on it in collaboration with Professor Thomas Hertog from KU Leuven. The paper was published in 2018 in the Journal of High Energy Physics, and was submitted by Professor just a few days before his death. Based on string theory, Hawking's theory predicts that the universe is finite and significantly simpler than many current theories concerning the Big Bang. The theory revolves around a cosmic paradox created by the late physicist. It also paves the way for astronomers to discover evidence of the existence of parallel universes. So now, with the James Webb Telescope in space, the scientists might be able to prove the theory. BBC reported that the Cambridge scientists, along with U.S. physicist James Hartle, devised a new concept on the origins of the universe in the 1980s. This fixed a problem with Einstein's theory, which stated that the universe began about 14 billion years ago, but revealed nothing about how it started. The hartle hawking hypothesis, on the other hand, employed a distinct theory called quantum mechanics to describe how the universe began from nothingness. The concept not only wrapped up the loose end, but also produced another. As physicists analyzed the notion, it became evident that the Big Bang would create a limitless supply of universes rather than just one. According to the hartle hawking theory, some would be quite similar to our own, with Earth-like planets, societies, and even humans comparable to those found in our universe. One where someone exactly like you would be watching the same video or would be doing exactly what you are doing. Hawking said in a statement, we are not down to a single unique universe, but our findings imply a significant reduction in the multiverse to a much smaller range of possible universes. So, Hawking contributed to the theory that led to the concept of infinite parallel universes. That concept relies on something known as eternal inflation. In science, it's known that other universes could arise from a theory called eternal inflation. The notion behind inflation is that the universe swiftly expanded following the Big Bang. 
expanding like a balloon. Alexander Vilenkin, a cosmologist at Tufts University, was the first to propose the eternal universe. In a 2011 article for Scientific American, Vilenkin explained that inflation did not end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for all we can see from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation is still going on in other locations. As mentioned before, the inflationary principle, according to the cosmologist, shows that the universe expanded fast after the Big Bang, much like a giant balloon. So, according to a theory, when the process of inflation became so vast, certain pockets of space may have ceased expanding at different times while other parts continued to inflate. This would be similar to the development of bubbles across the cosmos, resulting in several separate bubble universes. These other bubble universes would have then drifted away from us, well beyond our ability to observe. Hawking said in an interview, The usual theory of eternal inflation predicts that globally our universe is like an infinite fractal, with a mosaic of different pocket universes separated by an inflating ocean. He further added, the local laws of physics and chemistry can differ from one pocket universe to another, which together would form a multiverse. But I have never been a fan of the multiverse. If the scale of different universes in the multiverse is large or infinite, the theory can't be tested. So according to the inflation theory, the origin of all the universes is the same. It means that the overall properties of each universe should be the same and each universe should have the same average energy density, laws, symmetries, conserved quantities, and conservation laws, the same standard model, the same general relativity principles, and many other characteristics. Hawking also described this in another statement and said, We are not down to a single unique universe, but our findings imply a significant reduction of the multiverse to a much smaller range of possible universes. This makes the theory more predictive and testable, as Hertog told Cambridge that the physics that would account for infinite parallel universes breaks down when applied to the theory of eternal inflation. He said, When we trace the evolution of our universe backwards in time, at some point we arrive at the threshold of eternal inflation, where our familiar notion of time ceases to have any meaning. Therefore, starting from that boundary, the new theory predicts a finite structure of universes emerging from the Big Bang. If this theory is proven correct, it implies that other worlds similar to our own might have developed at that time. In addition, there may even be primordial gravitational waves that correspond to the universe's inflation. However, the theory is not proven yet. But with the James Webb Space Telescope, the scientists are hoping that they might reach a conclusion. Knowing when the earliest stars originated just after the Big Bang and how they generated the building blocks of the first galaxies is a critical scientific subject and one of James Webb's key science aims. We know that the elements required for life in modern technology, including carbon, silicone, and gold, were eventually generated in early stars, but we don't know how. So James Webb will also be able to observe all the planets that lie outside Earth's orbit of the Sun, studying their atmospheres and seasonal weather variations. The Webb is the answer to all of unanswered questions about the universe, as it will explore what has not been explorable until now. And according to scientists, the Webb will surpass the Hubble in several ways. It is believed that Webb will allow astronomers to look not only farther out into space, but also further back in time as it will search for the first stars and galaxies of the universe. In addition, it will allow scientists to make careful studies of numerous exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our Sun, and even embark on a search for signs of life there. So with high hopes, scientists are eager to receive more data from the space, so that we can get to know about what's more hiding in the universe. And this is it for today, guys! What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.